Tesla Semi Gen 2 officially revealed. This version is announced to be completely redesigned and become Tesla's mass production version. It may be late, but it has finally arrived. A version that allows drivers to make longer deliveries and have more rest time with a reconfigured driving area, confirmed by Dan Priestley, Semi Manager. Finally, more semis will be delivered this year and details about the new version will be decoded right now. Many wonder why Tesla chose to release a new version when the current electric trucks are performing very well, even leading the electric transport sector. Could it be that Semi Gen 1 did not bring as much profit as expected? Yeah, that could be true since these trucks were experimental, meant to gather data and feedback from PepsiCo rather than focusing on commercial viability. However, this argument might be incorrect as well, since we don't know the exact cost of the current semi-truck or how much PepsiCo paid for their 36 units. There are many reasons for launching the Gen 2 electric truck, but according to Tesla, this will be a major overhaul in design, weight, performance, and technology. In other words, the Semi Gen 1 is an unfinished product. So, what makes the Semi Truck Gen 2 version possible? Let's talk about the design first. What do you think if the Semi Gen 2 will feature a completely new cabin with the addition of a sleeper, as Dan Priestley once revealed? Actually, we will do a sleeper cab where we can send drivers out for multiple days at a time as we expand the charging network. It's undeniable that when drivers transport goods across countries, regions, or on long haul trips, the truck cabin must serve as the driver's tiny house. According to Freightliner, one of the largest truck manufacturers and a major competitor of Tesla, a long haul truck driver can spend hundreds of hours in their truck each week. Indeed, this is true as PepsiCo has admitted to using the Tesla Semi for 12 hours of deliveries each day on short regional routes. The interior of the truck must meet the driver's needs, keeping him safe, alert, well rested, and ready for the next day's drive without worrying about accommodation during the trip. Yeah, and when looking at the Tesla Semi Gen 1, it still falls short of providing such an efficient cabin. According to what we know, the Semi Truck doesn't come with a sleeper cab because it's designed for day trips. Although we can see the current version offers up to 500 miles on a single charge, and even more impressingly, it set a record of 1,076 miles in a day during the Run On Less event, it's ultimately still used for shorter delivery trips, ranging from 200 to 400 miles for PepsiCo in the region. It's not yet capable of handling overnight delivery trips for drivers due to a lack of a sleeper area. The launch of the Semi Gen 2 is believed to be an effort to improve the cabin area compared to the current Gen 1, aiming to create a more premium version that meets the standards for multi-day routes. This time, the structure of the big rig might undergo significant modifications to include a sleeper, and the Tesla Semi team may start by adjusting the size. The Tesla Semi Gen 1 has an estimated overall length of 20 feet 9 inches, an estimated width of 8 feet 6 inches, and an estimated height of 13 feet. The wheelbase of the Tesla Semi is estimated at 13 feet. These dimensions are particularly effective in achieving a drag coefficient of 0.22. However, to create sufficient space for a sleeper area compared to the current model, the new cabin will need to be expanded in both length and height. But is everything that easy? Yes, this is not as simple as modifying the dimensions, but it certainly requires redesigning the production line, even if the semi trucks assembled by hand more than machine. Larger dimensions mean that Tesla will need to adjust the chassis design to support the new structure. Furthermore, we also recognize that this expansion poses a significant issue related to the initial weight of the electric truck. The nationwide allowable gross rate for electric trucks is 82,000 pounds. Recently, the unloaded weight of the semi has been confirmed to be under 23,000 pounds for the long-range 900 kilowatt hour battery version, which is still relatively light compared to competitors like the 25,000 pound Freightliner e Cascadia or the 29,000 pound Nikola Trey BEV. With this advantage, increasing the weight by at least 5,000 pounds sometimes isn't too much of an issue for the Gen 2 version. It'll still operate efficiently, even with a lighter weight. Increasing the weight in the Gen 2 version sometimes raises concerns about its cargo carrying capability, potentially carrying fewer Pepsi beverages than usual. Interestingly, this is likely to occur because, as we've mentioned, the original weight of the semi will only increase maximally from 23,000 to 28,000 pounds in the case of an expanded cabin. 
Tesla still comfortably achieves a minimum cargo weight of 37,000 pounds and 17,000 pounds for the Traverse HT trailer, with a total payload of 82,000 pounds. So there's still no significant impact on payload with the Semi Gen 2. We speculate that increasing the weight sometimes might compel Tesla to trade off a bit of operational range to avoid encountering issues with a 12,000 pound 2170 battery pack. Currently, the Tesla Semi has a range of 500 miles, which significantly surpasses other electric trucks with ranges of only about 275 miles like the Volvo VNR Electric or up to 330 miles like the Nikola Trey. Therefore, adding a sleeper to the Gen 2 version remains quite feasible because even if the big rig does indeed decrease its operational range by a few hundred miles, this would still have a negligible impact on performance. What we haven't figured out yet is if the Tesla Semi has a larger cabin and increases its wheelbase, the big rig will increase its turning radius, making it impossible for the Semi to maneuver in some tight spaces. Of course, Tesla can still have better solutions without changing the size too much, like rearranging the center driver's seat position to the left like traditional trucks to optimize the area. Do you have any solutions? Please let us know in the comments below. Not stopping at cabin changes, Dan Priestley's confirmed that the Semi's low-voltage architecture will soon be changed for the Semi Gen 2, suggesting that we'll see an energy-efficient electric truck and more stable operation than currently. Volt as well as actually 24 volt system on here right. um, you know, for the brake system, but there's you know we're always looking at ways to you know, improve and simplify the low voltage. So we're considering you know, our 48 volt architecture for our next generation. In the current Gen 1 version, as you may know, the Tesla Semi was introduced in 2017 when the low voltage architecture of 48 volts was still quite distant. Therefore, the Tesla Semi is only equipped with two types of voltage architecture. 12 and 24 volts for brake and lighting systems. However, according to Dan Priestley's confirmation, the next version of the semi truck will definitely adopt a 48 volt architecture similar to the Cybertruck. It can be said that while the Tesla semi has already operated quietly, Gen 2 will certainly significantly improve noise reduction. The 48 volt system specifically helps to minimize noise and vibration from the motor, while also improving the regenerative braking capability of the Tesla semi. With higher voltage and lower current, the 48 volt architecture allows for the use of thinner, lighter, and less copper intensive wiring. This not only helps to save costs for Tesla, but also reduces the overall weight of the Tesla Semi. Facing at least two confirmed changes by Priestley, there's one thing certain that many are going to be wondering about. Which type of battery will the Tesla Semi Gen 2 use? Will it be the 2170 or the 4680? The Tesla Semi Gen 1 is known to have used the 2170 battery pack, although Elon Musk has never disclosed specific details about this battery type. However, considering its launch in 2017, the 2170 was the most suitable battery technology that Tesla could use for electric trucks at that time. If the Tesla Semi indeed integrates these 2170 battery packs, there will still be several clear advantages that no one can deny. The stable energy density of the 2170 batteries provides high efficiency and safety while reducing manufacturing costs due to the widespread nature of this technology. This also means longer lifespan and better long-term performance. However, that's the story from years ago when Tesla didn't have the 4680 battery. It's easy to see that with the 4680 battery on the horizon, the weaknesses of the 2170 become more apparent through three main aspects energy density, efficiency, and charging speed. First, the significantly lower energy density compared to the 4680 battery means the 2170 battery only provides a shorter range per charge or requires a larger battery capacity to achieve the same range. This is why the Tesla Semi has a hefty 12,000 pound battery pack. Furthermore, the higher internal resistance of the 2170 battery leads to decreased efficiency and increased thermal losses, reducing the overall effectiveness of the battery. Lastly, the charging speed of the 2170 battery is also much slower compared to many battery types available today, making the charging process longer and less convenient. Especially as battery technology advances, the 2170 battery pack is at risk of becoming outdated, prompting the Tesla Semi to opt for a superior battery technology. Especially considering that a completely new big rig Gen 2 version requires a more advanced, stronger, and lighter battery technology, the 4680 is the most suitable battery for the semi-truck to date. So, why is the 4680 battery especially suitable for semi-truck Gen 2? You may not know, the capacity of the 4680 battery is 5.7 times that of the 2170 lithium battery. 
As far as we know, the capacity of the 4680 battery is 26,000 mAh, but the 2170 battery is only 4800 mAh. This means that the capacity of a 4680 battery is many times higher than that of a regular 2170 battery. The 5.7 times higher capacity means the Tesla Semi Gen 2 can go significantly further without recharging even with the added weight. According to estimates, Tesla Semi Gen 2, if using a 4680 battery, can reach a range of more than 500 miles on a single charge. Additionally, the biggest advantage of the new Tesla 4680 battery is that it can produce more battery capacity with less overall raw material. It can be seen that the total battery cost could be reduced to half of what the 2170 battery is when Tesla reaches mass production in the coming years. As we know, the 2170 battery uses graphite as the negative electrode, but the latest 4680 battery uses silicon-based graphite as the negative electrode. Therefore, the energy density of the 4680 battery will be much greater than the 2170 battery. A crazier benefit if Semi Gen 2 gets these new battery cells is that the charging time is significantly shortened. With a 400V voltage architecture, the 4680 battery will allow charging from 0 to 60% in 20 minutes due to the all-pole tab structure. However, Tesla Semi is currently operating in the 800 to 100 volt architecture range, so the charging speed will be much crazier, charging quickly from 0 to 70% in about 20 minutes instead of taking more than a half hour like the current Gen 1. Not stopping there, using the 4680 battery for the Semi Next Gen also has benefits in the efforts to reduce the weight and cost of the battery. You might not be aware that due to the higher mechanical durability of the 4680 battery, it is more suitable for the Celta chassis CTC technology. Tesla's eliminated the battery lid on the 4680 battery pack, increasing space utilization. Regarding manufacturing costs, Musk mentioned that after implementing the integrated CTC mold technology, it could save up to 370 parts, reduce the weight of the vehicle body by 10%, and lower the cost per kilowatt hour of the battery by 7%. So, it seems that the Tesla Semi can still balance the weight with the 4680 pack even if the cabin's expanded. According to Dan Priestley, 2026 is the moment when the goal of 50,000 semi trucks could be achieved. At this point, many issues have been addressed as the manufacturer has gathered all the feedback, assessments, and technical data from years of operating PepsiCo semi trucks, indicating that the Semi Gen 2 will be an incredibly refined product. Of course, there's still much debate about whether Tesla will truly have enough 4680 batteries by the year 2026. If not, Tesla may still struggle to ramp up production, so everything could still be in a state of flux, and the 50,000 units might be a figure for 2030. As far as we know, the Semi Gen 2 is set to be unveiled no earlier than 2026 as confirmed by Tesla. For the current Gen 1 version, Tesla is still producing additional units from now until the end of 2025, during which time the manufacturer will continue to use 2170 battery cells because even at the current time, they have not been able to obtain enough surplus 4680 cells for any other model. However, in 2026, when the Semi Gen 2 could make its appearance, Everything will be a different story, as they will likely have an abundance of 4680 cells available for use in semi-trucks. Additionally, Tesla's advisory board has also noted that the 4680 cells will certainly not be exclusive to the Cybertruck, but will be used in other future vehicle electric models as well. This is credible given the expansion of Giga Nevada has already begun earlier this year to produce the big rig and other projects. The other projects mentioned by Tesla could involve bolstering the production of 4680 cells in adjacent areas. With an investment cost of $3.6 billion for expansion, adding an additional 4 million square feet of manufacturing space, two new facilities are under construction, one dedicated to semi-production and one for 4680 cell production. We believe that as the development process of the Cybertruck with the 4680 battery enters the perfect prototype stage at the current time, the surplus production of 4680 cells will be shifted to semi and other models. Gen 1 semi trucks are still being produced additionally in an effort to fulfill deliveries to Tesla's partners this year. And according to Dan Priestley, the semi team is still awaiting feedback from PepsiCo to incorporate changes and leadership into the Gen 2 and gradually commence mass production. Why will the price of Tesla's Semi Gen 2 shock people? 
We're not confident in saying that the Semi Gen 2 will have a lower price than the current version. However, it will certainly cause a shock because the price will be very attractive compared to what customers will receive. An incredibly perfect semi truck that has addressed the shortcomings of the Gen 1. A price range of $300,000 to $400,000 is something the manufacturer may consider. Yeah, it's quite expensive, but let us explain. In 2017, when Tesla first introduced its electric truck, the Tesla Semi with a range of 500 miles was leaked with a price tag of $180,000. Then in 2022, when a few units were delivered to PepsiCo, the price leaked once again, reaching $250,000. Elon Musk didn't comment on this, but PepsiCo's South Sacramento bottling plant acquired 18 units after using $4.5 million in funding. Now, with a more refined Semi Gen 2 version featuring interior cabin improvements and a host of battery enhancements, a voltage architecture, or many other things, but customers only need to pay an additional $50,000 or $100,000 to buy it, then this is truly worth it, right? Similar to Tesla's newly launched models, where everything is at peak price in the early days of launch and does not live up to the original statement, prices will gradually decrease over time to stabilize the market. Therefore, the price of a Tesla Semi equipped with a bed in the future will change significantly compared to the time of its initial launch. On the contrary, Tesla's future plans to expand manufacturing facilities and enhance charging infrastructure will result in the cost of the Semi becoming increasingly cheaper. You could even save up to $200,000 in the first three years, according to Tesla's cost analysis for a truck that travels 300,000 miles. On average, customers will spend a total of $250,000 on maintenance and fuel costs, which will be saved through electrification. Electricity is available at a price lower than half that of fuel, and because electric vehicles have fewer components, maintenance costs will be much lower than diesel engines. It wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that Tesla's decision to launch the Tesla Semi Gen 2 marks a significant advancement in the field of electric transportation. This time, improving the cabin design by adding a sleeper is something the manufacturer should prioritize over any other upgrade because current semi trucks are not suitable for long haul deliveries. Combined with the potential of utilizing advanced 4680 battery technology, the driver's experience with the big rig is further enhanced because they've never driven an electric truck with such impressive performance. So, we want to know, do you like the semi-truck Gen 2 with these updates? Let us know in the comments down there below. And with that, we hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit that like button and join your Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. That way, you'll never miss out on any of our awesome videos. Just hit that bell icon. We most certainly value your feedback and your time. And we humbly thank you so much for watching and hope to see you back here soon. Until then, stay safe, have fun, take care, and God bless. Goodbye.